cancer would affect most people within the next decade why do you think this trend is rising sir and what steps can people take today to mitigate their risks actually majority of the hospital corporate hospital didn't even have a cancer wing nobody does outside games very few people go out to play they are always sitting at home the physical exercise is completely gone the vegetarian diet is no more uh, seen in these days tobacco constitutes 33% of the cancers that what we see and the lifestyle changes constitutes to another 35% coming to fruits and vegetables i mean you know they are like ridden with pesticides like you have said so how far are they healthy so non vegetarian diet also or chicken and all those things are also given the chemicals they infuse into these birds to grow big and strong even the cattle we always try to put blame on somebody but you look at three fingers which are blaming at you correct yourself fried food fries you So how do you think artificial intelligence can help in cancer detection diagnosis and the treatment planning Nothing goes beyond human brain even artificial intelligence is also been created by human brain So I can't just close my eyes blindfold and say artificial intelligence has given me this information I just blindly go with that I am not scared of getting a cancer patient walking into my clinic I'm scared of patient walking into my clinic with an advanced disease not to invite friends or relatives and show pity on the patient so that should never happen what drives you to you know go back to your clinic every day one thing which always hits me there is a traffic jam one woman walks out of her house sir 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 please please for a second for a minute please come down she made me get out of the car and stepped into her house in the first room of her i saw the frames of god and beside that my photograph frame